Process Pumps is headquartered in Omaha, Nebraska. However, as you may know, Motion has many, many shops throughout the U.S. And the shops that actually are doing hydraulic systems repair and build have the lathes, they have the mills, they have the machinists, they have the various tools. So we're adding liquid transfer repair to their capabilities as well. And I think at last count, we have about nine shops throughout the U.S. that's doing some type or form of liquid transfer repair. We offer a variety of pumps. Two basic uh, categories would be centrifugal and positive displacement. And when you drill down from those titles, there, there's many, many pumps. And a centrifugal could be sanitary. It could be a simple chemical pump. And positive displacement could be a gear pump. It could be a progressive cavity lobe style pump. Uh, it, you know, it could be used in sanitary. It could be used in pumping something very viscous or very thick. And we've been able to take this now beyond just the basic or bare pump. We now have an assembly procedure for putting these pumps together, mounting them on a bed plate, adding electrical controls, process controls. We have on board mechanical engineers, we have on board an electrical engineer that is an automation engineer. So it's just beyond the basic pump. We're really looking for the package systems where the customer can say, this is what I need, give me a turnkey. I mean, we, we've done more package systems. The, the pumps as systems, which include VFDs, valves, uh, transducers or sensors, uh, package systems on skids. Um, we've done 125 horsepower diesel engine drives on 10-inch pumps, so we've gotten into some pretty substantial package systems. It was It is very common that if you were to order a pump built to specification on a bed plate with motor coupling, coupling guard from a manufacturer to wait 8 to 16 weeks. Well, our customers are more demanding than that, and usually they need it sooner than that, and in some cases in an emergency. Well, the way we stock our items in component form, we can then figure out which components we need, assemble the pump, put it on a bed plate, do everything we need to do to get it out the door and then sometimes in the same day. It just really depends on the pump size, the metallurgy requirements, but we do quite a bit of that. Here at Motion we're able to tear those pumps down, do trouble analysis, come up with an idea of what went wrong so that we're not just fixing a problem on top of a problem. If there's a root cause solution, we can let the customer know, you know what, you're cavitating this pump. You need to do something with your input. You don't have enough. As a full service, we have to be able to repair, rebuild the product we sell. Uh, we will repair, you know, put in new bearings, seals, impellers, rotating assemblies. What makes sense? When it gets to be too much the cost of the new, then we have to suggest that this is a non-repairable item and they need to do a replacement. So what our objective is here is to take what we do here out to the other parts of the country using those shops I mentioned as well as additional product specialists. Just like we have for electrical and hydraulics, we do that for liquid transfer so they can work with the local branches, salespeople, so they can bring that expertise to their areas on a local basis, repair on a local basis, and in some cases maybe do some of the building out into key areas. We've got about, if you add everybody up inside here, we've got over 100 years of experience on troubleshooting and just dealing with process type liquid handling pumps. So we can work with the branches and their salespeople to try and help problem solve for customers. So if they have applications that seem to be causing them system or problems, we can kind of walk the branch salesperson through to go ask the questions, work with the customer, or get us on a conference call, and we can help that walk that customer through what we think can be problems that way. Um, we have specialists out in the field, so we can get the specialists involved. Oh, uh, we've had we've had several, well, probably hundreds of jobs that they've done for us. Um, everything from pumping food or food products to just water, ANSI pumps for process lines, and so on and so forth. Uh, 
we've done a lot of stuff in wash down high pressure piston pumps. Uh, we have a lot of meat packing and food related industry out in this part of the country that require wash down and that type of thing. When it comes to what we quote as industry, whether it's a power plant, steel mill, or an automotive maker, all those we're in, uh, all those use a lot of liquid transfer. Food is a big one, oil industry is a big one. Uh, so take away from you know the commercial type side of things, municipalities, during the projects we don't get involved in, but certainly afterwards when there's replacement repair being uh, performed, we get involved with that. Well, we've had it just recently where somebody bought a plant, used that pump for many years, and the system worked fine. Well, we put a new pump in there and sized it off of the old pump information, and that pump didn't work out very well because it didn't do what they wanted to because the curves are different. We were able to look at the curve and say, okay, this isn't what you needed. We needed to do this this way and came up with a better solution to do that. So either way, we can either try and solve their system problem or solve their pump problem, but one way or another, we try and analyze it as a system and not just a individual component. Recently, which was yesterday, I had a success. Um, one of our branches in New Mexico called and they had a, a five different pumps that were on order with a vendor and they were to go next day air. The vendor found they were short of parts and had to push that order out two weeks and their line was down and they didn't know what they were going to do. So I looked in our stock and I saw that I had the exact pump that didn't have the exact seal in it, but it was the exact pump that they needed. So I next day aired out two of those pumps, got with the factory and got the correct seals and O-rings that would be needed to be put in that pump flown out to them and they were able to get their pumps up and running within 24 hours. Uh, every day we get um, requests for quote uh, from any type of uh, branch, whether it be Canada, Puerto Rico, anywhere in the United States. Uh, and <clears throat> it could be from any anything that we handle or second tier vendors that we're, we're not, we have to go to another vendor uh, to get information and, and pricing on. But we have a, a wide swatch of different vendors uh, and people that we can go to to uh, get a quote to the end user. Um, and, and really get some uh, great opportunity for all of them. Sometimes if you have a vendor, a local vendor, they are only able to sell to Iowa, Nebraska. And we have the ability to go from point A to point B. We just did one for a new customer that we have. They were building a prototype trailer that was going down to Arkansas for a demonstration uh, on a, a, uh, for a food plant down there. Uh, they were able to take the pumps, get the, everything fabricated, put together, shipped down to Arkansas, and had them prepared to be placed in the trailer in about four days. And that was all stainless steel pumps. And the customer was extremely pleased. In the pump industry, a lead time is a big thing because a lot of these factories can't ship stuff for four, six, eight weeks. Uh, and we were able to deliver that product. And, in less than a week. We, uh, we know the product very well inside and out here and we also know what our branches need as far as service goes, giving them faster service. So they're also going to be able to save a lot of time, which in essence will earn them money because they'll get their customers taken care of quicker. Our ability to have things in stock, our in-house knowledge, um, as far as diagnosing problems. Um, sometimes, you know, you need to have things right away, but you also want to make sure that you sell them the right things. And you don't want to just sell something that, that they have in-house and you know, a couple days later, it breaks down again. Well, we have the knowledge and, and we're focused on getting the end user the right pump or the right part for that application and get it in a expedited way if need be. The fact that they can do things so quickly, that's a, that's a, in, this, in this type of business, that's a very big plus. I think NEO 6 has done a better job of supporting the branches nationally. We're getting more help, we're getting more inventory, we've grown. Um, it's, an, it's an opportunity for Motion to go out and promote this product, which a lot of other national distributors don't have.
our system. It's very fluid uh, from beginning to end. You know, we're able to engineer it here. We're able to troubleshoot it here. We're able to repair it here. We're able to build new here. If dynamic balancing is required, we're able to dynamically balance the impellers here, which happens to be a standard for us, whether it's repair or new. It's an exciting time for Motion Industries Process Pumps. We have a lot of great team members here in the office, and we are excited to help out anyone that would care to uh, inquire in any kind of pump application, uh, part, anything like that.